Hi everyone, this is a bit of an impromptu video. Uh, I'm actually on vacation at the moment at my grandparents and as you can see by the background I don't usually live next to to this particular background and uh, well hopefully you can see it I imagine that you can on video uh, unlike my face which is rather shadowed at the moment because the sun is behind me but it's probably probably better to look at the background instead of my face specifically in this in this context a little bit a little bit more interesting than my usual uh, usual background of of the cells in the background well uh, i'm making this video actually because I, i'm curious on your opinion i'd love to have your take on an idea that i had uh, as you can tell when i'm on vacation i don't stop thinking about physionic i really just can't uh, it's just it's very much a passion, seven, six, seven years in, it's still uh, at the forefront of my mind. And this take that I'd like your opinion on is specific to the videos that I've been releasing, part of the examine extracts, the examine videos where I take a study and then I essentially show some of the data and then explain uh, some of the physiology and then uh, go into the conclusions. Now, while I do think that those are incredibly beneficial and I'd like to continue doing them, I think that I would like to have a bit of a change on how I go about doing them. Uh, the problem is that although I love to read research on all kinds of different topics related to the human body uh, in physiology, nutrition science, and things of that nature, and that's really the, the, the bulk of what physionic is, a science-based education, I don't feel like the videos themselves are all that organized. And they, although we get a conclusion based off of a particular study, I think a lot of the critiques that I get in my comments section is that people don't feel like the study is indicative of uh, a lot of other circumstances. And that's absolutely true, right? I mean, if you're looking at a study, you're looking at a particular sample. So you're looking at, let's say, 40-year-old women. Uh, that have diabetes and are overweight. So really the study is only going to be applicable to those individuals. And what I'd really love to do is to have a bit more uh, strength behind some of the conclusions that we make. So this idea that I have is to have themes for physionic. So essentially, uh, of late at least, I've been covering a lot on the ketogenic diet and its effect on cholesterol. And that's been kind of in the vein that I'm thinking, but I would really love to have a bit more focus even than, uh, than just kind of haphazardly picking up studies and just kind of aiming in that direction. So the way I'd like to do things is to still cover the studies maybe cover a little bit more data per study, so essentially cover the entirety of the study or a good chunk of the study, and still have my physiology section in the video and then have my conclusion for that study. But the reason why I say that there's going to be themes for physionic is because I would like to continuously attack a particular subject. So as an example, a recent example, ketogenic diet and cholesterol. So I've read maybe six, seven, eight studies on the topic by now, and it would be great if I could cover every single one of those studies, so on an individual level, but then have those feed into a playlist or feed those into a series. And that series will then ultimately lead to an overall conclusion. So at, in that regard, then that means that we would have maybe eight or maybe we would have 20 or however many studies that it takes to eventually reach an overall conclusion where I'll make a video that summarizes all of the studies put together so that we can come to that conclusion. Now, of course, that conclusion is always going to change based on new studies that end up presenting themselves. But the way I'd like to organize it is to have a particular number for every study that we cover. So let's say the first study comes out, that would be study one, then study two, et cetera, et cetera. And then I will organize all of these studies and the conclusions that we can make off of each study into a particular document. And that document you can find in the description box of every video. As a matter of fact, I'll try to have a sample version of that document uh, down below in the description box of this video. Uh, and then it's going to allow us to kind of congregate all of the studies into one document and figure out 
trends actually see the the overall changes do we see increases in cholesterol do we see decreases do we see no change is there a factor that for certain studies we see a decrease in certain studies we see an increase and that's what i'm finding for, based off of my reading the problem with this however is that I'm a one-man operation and uh, I have a limited amount of time between my PhD and I'm going to be picking up a, a teaching college courses as well. So the reason why I'm presenting this now in a particular video for you is because I'd like your opinion how you feel about having a greater strength of information, of science-based information behind our particular conclusion. So not just focusing on a single study, but having a grouping of studies to show that yes, we believe in this particular conclusion. However, the downside of that is that I'll be covering a topic for a long time. So I'll be really driving a topic into the ground, meaning that I'll be covering something for maybe four weeks or eight weeks or something along those lines as we go as we move through that theme. So I'll be covering every week, I'll be covering, again, if we stick to this, this theme of ketogenic diet on cholesterol, and of course it would change as we, as we move from one topic to another, but it would be, let's say, six weeks of studies where I'm isolating these particular studies and then building up that playlist to eventually come to that conclusion video that allows us to pull everything together and allows us to create nuance. Is it based on saturated fats? Should you be consuming unsaturated fats? Which unsaturated fats? Is it a particular type of saturated fat? Like things like that, that give us real clarity, real detail, and real strength, real power in our analysis of a particular conclusion. So what I'm thinking is to have these themes. However, I would also like to still have videos that are a little bit different, that are uh, like these spotlight videos where I, I, I you know, point out particular uh, strengths or weaknesses of other people's arguments uh, in, in their videos. Uh, so I'm still going to intersperse videos here and there that are off of the particular theme that we're investigating for uh, this particular month or this particular two months or whatever it might be, because I realize that it gets a little tedious to continuously cover the same topic, even if it's a different study, to continuously cover the same topic over and over again. So check out, if I have it uh, up at this point, check out the document that I'll have below so that it's just going to be like an Excel file and uh, you're going to be able to see how I'm going to be organizing these things. And then we'll be able to see an actual trend and then actually be able to come up with a conclusion off of that as well. So let me know your thoughts. Would you be okay with these themes to have a better clarity on these conclusions or would you rather me still kind of haphazardly cover studies and then I'll be covering a large variety of different topics but uh, we may not be able to get the strength of conclusion that we normally would. So give me your thoughts, give me your opinions, I would really love, uh, love them. Keep in mind that this is again a one-man operation, so until I reach hundreds of thousands of subscribers and I can actually uh, pay somebody to, to also start covering other studies and to, to actually have a team of people that can also do video editing and, and do all the website design and all that stuff, uh, I'm very limited. So I can't, I can't cover uh, how a particular drug that you're using, that you, only you are using, is helping you against flatulence or something along those lines, because that doesn't help most people. I need to be covering topics and themes that, that help a lot of people. Uh, so keep that in mind. So this is certainly going to limit Physionic in terms of its overall direction, uh, but it's going to also give it more clarity, uh, which I, and, I, and be a lot more helpful to those individuals so again i'm rambling but keep that in mind and uh I'd, I'd love your opinions thanks for stopping by as always i always appreciate your support until next time see ya